please subscribe to Iconic Brands. It would help very much. And see related content on the playlists on this channel. Every Triumph Herald had a bolt-on roof. And it didn't take long for people to realise that. And you could take the roof off. I think it was about nine or ten bolts held the roof together. The whole car was popular because it was built on a chassis. And of course, it's not a monocoque design, so the body didn't bend too much. It was a very, very sturdy car. Anyway, um, I looked at this back in the day. I think it was the mid-90s. <clears throat> and I, I got this, and it told me all about it. The Tristan convertible kit. Which cars will it fit? Practically all of the Herald and Vitesse cars. And it was a great idea at the time, you know, I was very, very interested in getting a Tristan kit for my saloon car. It, it made sense, you know, just simply unbolt the roof from your saloon and put this kit in. The only problem was <coughs> you couldn't get one. You know, that for some reason, they were very, very difficult to get hold of. I mean, that's what it looked like from the time and where factory where it was produced. And I think they were inundated with people wanting them and they just couldn't keep up with demand. And simply, I could just could not get hold of one for love or money. I just couldn't get one. So I decided to make my own. Now, this was my... Triumph Herald 1360 as it was when I put my own conversion on and I'm going to go through with you how I did it in case there's anybody out there who's thinking of doing it to their own current Triumph Herald you'll have to bear with me because it's a little bit vague because I'm going back nearly 30 years ago when I did this job and it's on old VHS tape so please bear with me and you'll have to use your imagination a little bit and uh, I'll show you how I went about making my own Tristan convertible kit. Here's my Triumph Herald from 1998. The car was already 27 years old then. My plan was to turn it into a convertible by first removing the bolt-on roof. This is how the Triumph 1360 looked with the roof removed. It looks nice and clean, doesn't it? This was the start of my winter project. And here I am explaining it in 1998. The original roof that came with the car, of course, and putting that one to one side. In those days, it was relatively easy to get a spare scrap roof from another Triumph Herald, which is what I've done. Now, using the scrap roof, I began to cut out the middle section of the roof using a fast wheel, similar to putting a sunroof in a car. All I was doing, I was using the outer edges as a bracket and something to work to. Once I'd cut a big square hole in the middle, the roof was then fitted to the car. I decided that I'd get, again from the scrapyard, a real rear window from a scrap car. The rear window, in fact, came off a scrap MGF. Now, the next task was to weld in some strengthening bars across the middle. This was done more to support the fabric roof which was to go on the top. Here are the parts that were scrap and no longer needed. Basically the old roof was just there to support the vinyl roof. Sorry to be a bit vague about how I did it, 
this was done over 30 years ago, without any commentary then. But hopefully it makes some sense. This part here is bolted in to the side. Here's the view from the other side. I just hope this makes sense to us who's ever watching this, <laughs> to how I went about doing it. I put a strengthening piece in there, just to finish it off. And press studs from the MGF scrap roof that I was using at the back end. Basically now was just to tidy everything up. I put trim on the back and just went all round tidying it up and taking all the sharp edges off wherever possible. Basically the bracketry was there to hold the fabric roof in place. So how did I do the fabric roof? The next job was stitching this material to what was left of the MGF roof on the back end and then stretching it all over the structure of the Triumph roof. This would be then press studded into place. I used a very very big needle and something that resembled fishing line to connect this vinyl material to the original MGF back window. The idea was, was to undo the press studs and simply roll the material back to the back of the car with a retaining belt. You can just about see it on this picture here when I was out with my daughters, how it was all working and came together. The amazing thing was I hardly ever used it with the roof up, only using it on nice days in the dry. The cover was always there just in case it did start to rain and it was amazingly waterproof when it was up. Here's a good shot of the structure of how I made it. If you can imagine the material press studded and stretched over the framework. Of course for the winter the roof was just put back on as it was before. If you're interested in seeing the car with the soft top roof up, please look on this video here and find it in the early years playlist on this channel. You will get a fleeting glimpse of how it looked with the roof up. Thanks for watching this far and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.